And welcome back. Bernalillo County is figuring out how best to spend its money to keep kids from getting caught up in the juvenile justice system. News 13's Natalie Wattis sat in on the first meeting of the year of the board that makes those decisions and has details. It's a question the county has to figure out each year. What's the best use of public dollars in the juvenile justice system? That's the job of the Bernalillo County Juvenile Justice Continuum Board, which held its first meeting today. Review our bylaws um, and then create possibly uh, smaller committees to work on that, the MOU, uh, member application, and then um, the strategic plan. The group's ultimate mission, to establish how money appropriated from the state legislature to CYFD in Bernalillo County will be divvied up into community services and programs to help kids who come in contact with the juvenile justice system. I mean, really, board goals is the big thing, right? So we want to, you know, reduce duplication of services. We want to be able to coordinate and leverage what we do have in our community um, and look for those gaps. The most recent allocation is nearly $300,000 per year for a three-year period. The board discussed their goals for the money, including diverting at-risk youth before they end up in the system and reducing gaps in existing services. But the first order of business, getting organized. We deal with money and we deal with a lot of the agencies that work here and so how are we reporting back to each other. Natalie Wattis, KRQE News 13. Montgomery says applications for the money should become available in the coming weeks. The board meets again in two months to start looking at ways to spend the money.